layers are used to group objects in a drawing by function and to enforce standards for color, line type, line weight, and other properties. You can have as many layers in a drawing as you wish, but only one layer can be the current layer or top layer at any given time. If you look in the Layers panel on the Home ribbon, you can see the name of the current layer. In this case, the current layer is the layer 0. If you were to create new objects, they would be placed on layer 0. Each drawing includes a layer named 0. Layer 0 cannot be deleted or renamed to ensure that every drawing includes at least one layer. In general, you should always create several new layers with which to organize your drawing, rather than create your entire drawing on layer 0. Expand the Layer drop-down and select the Furniture layer. Now you can see that Furniture is the current layer. Now anything you create will be placed on the Furniture layer. On the Home ribbon, in the Draw panel, click the Circle tool and then create a circle to represent a table. That table has been created on the current layer, the Furniture layer. You can easily verify the layer of any object. Simply move the cursor and pause it over an object, such as a desk. The program displays a small property panel that shows information about the object, including the type of object, as well as its color, layer, and line type. In most instances, when you double-click an object, the program opens a Quick Properties palette that also includes this same information. If the object was created on the wrong layer, you could move it to the proper layer by selecting a layer from the Layer drop-down. Press Escape to deselect the object and close the Quick Properties palette. Repeat this for one of the doors. Now you can see that the object was drawn on the Doors layer. Again, press Escape to deselect the object and close the palette. In the ribbon, you can see that Furniture is still the current layer. This time, rather than double-clicking the door, simply click it once to select it. When you select an object, the layer display in the ribbon changes to show you the layer of the selected object. So you can see that the door was created on the door's layer. And again, if the object was created on the wrong layer, you can move it to the proper layer by selecting a layer from the Layer drop-down. With the door still selected, click to select the desk as well. In the drawing area, you can see that two objects are selected. Since the two objects are on different layers, however, the ribbon no longer shows you the name of the layer. Press Escape to deselect the objects. Then, expand the Layers drop-down in the ribbon and select the Doors layer to make that the current layer. If you were to create a new object now, it would be placed on the Doors layer. But when you move the cursor over the circle you previously created, the Property panel shows you that the circle was created on the Furniture layer. So changing the current layer does not affect any objects that you have already created. It simply determines the layer on which any new objects will be drawn.